Switzerland welcomes the Year of the Tiger with the largest work of art in the world, featuring a huge tiger projected by Swiss light artist Gary Hofstetter onto the inner north face in Grindelwald. The projection of a more than five kilometer long and over two kilometer tall tiger is a nod to the Chinese lunar calendar and to international solidarity. Hofstetter timed the light art with the start of the Beijing Winter Olympics as a beacon of motivation for athletes and a moment to drum up environmental awareness globally. Earlier, I talked to the artist. He told me how he got the idea and how his team prepared to get the tiger light projection right. It's a huge project. Gary, what a pleasure to see you. That's a terrific work. Thank you very much. Thank you for the compliment. How did you come up with the idea of using tiger and that specific tiger? It's a long story. So I like to be out in the mountains, in the nature. And when I once uh, visited this region, of course, as a Swiss citizen, you have to see the Eiger, this mountain, once in your lifetime. I discovered at the shape of the mountain, it looks like a lying tiger. And was, it was, this was about 10 years ago. And then I was smiling, oh wow, nice tiger. And then last year I have done something uh, on the Eiger, just on the North Face. And a lot of people were talking, hey, you're going to the Eiger, the Eiger, the Eiger. And I said this, I realized, tiger, tiger, Eiger, that's it. We have in one year, Year of the tiger, I like the tiger, it's a proud animal and I know about the Chinese New Year because I'm a tiger too. Oh. In, 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 yeah, that's in the start. So, oh, that's a good thing. And also for the Olympic Games starting in Beijing. So let's do something, a projection, a lion tiger on the eiger and bring this to the New Year. Chinese New Year, Year of the Tiger. to realize this was um, the weather and the location and a lot of luck of course because when you want to do this you need very very cold weather minus 20 and more then the constellation of the moon the position of the moon and the size of the moon is very important you have only 24 times a year for 15 minutes just by the moon. Then you have to have very cold. So two factors. Frank, los, Nick, los, photo. Then you have to have the right position of the stars. I wanted to have the Milky Way above the mountain, above the Eiger. So this is more or less in March. Then you have to have snowfall the day and night before you want to do this. There must be change in the weather from wind from the north, which is, which is not often in Switzerland. Then you get this coldness and no clouds. So all these factors came in, coming together should be ideally at four o'clock in the morning. Oh my God, you have to piece all of these things together in order to make it happen. And it happened. It happened, yeah, finally. What was it like for you to proudly looking at that projection, you know, almost uh, taking the mountain by tigers in a way? By placing and approaching how we can do this, and with my special developed projectors, we knew only this condition of the weather can do it, and, and a little bit of help of the locals and from our part. 
Yeah. And the proudness is not about me. The proudness is about the team and the supporting people and the community of Grindelwald <laughs> and um, the, the, the capability to bring such a tiger as an ambassador for everything, for animals, for culture, for your new year, for, for happiness. Mm. That's the proudness, not about me. You know, I know you've been traveling around the world, as you said, you've been also working on monuments, projections on the monuments, and, and also a lot of different uh, unique sceneries. Tell me more about those projects, for example, in the United States. Switzerland, because we are a very small country, there, there are a lot of people in, in 150 years ago, they traveled around, they went to other countries to look for a new future. Like in your country, also in USA, Switzerland is having a lot of connections to that nation. So I developed the concept to show our people that there are so many monuments in the USA. I read about 89,600 monuments. I read all the stories. And I discovered so many connections directly connected to very well-known monuments in the USA. So I decided to make a tour to all 50 states and selecting one monument per state and projecting the history of the USA of that monument in the USA and the history which is laying of Switzerland to that monument. So far we made 17 monuments. We had to stop because of the COVID, but we will go on this year. You know, yeah. uh, I know that you are doing works also related to the environment, you know, even in the Arctic. Tell me more about those works. I decided in 2003, um, when I was asked by the United Nations, can you do something for the year of the water, 2003? I said, yes, let's go to the Antarctica down because the ozone hole was very big. And I will project a polar bear, which is living up in the north. I will bring him to the penguins. I will project him on the penguins because when the situation will come in, in, on our planet where a polar bear is going to see in real a penguin, we have a problem, mm. climate-wise. And this picture became so famous, it was a really, that was a tough thing with the Russian boat, the icebreaker, blah, blah, blah. So I decided after two of these heavy trips to go up in north, in the, on, in the Arctic, where the polar bears are living, and this is actually very uh, sad. The icebergs I discovered in 2006 up there, they were 110 meters high below above the uh, waterline. Last year, I was there again for the seventh time. The iceberg are about 70 meters above the waterline. This is, I, it's not small talking. I can prove this, everybody. And it's sad. And that's the reason why I have done this uh, expedition to project images on icebergs, waterfalls, rainforest last year. A rainforest on an iceberg in the Arctic, your brain starts thinking. These pictures are really, they go into your heart and, and you start thinking what we are doing here. But everybody has to do his own mind of what he can do for our planet. I'm not somebody telling you you have to do this, this, this. I'm just presenting in a nice, touchy way. And then it's up to you what you do. Gary, there are so many challenges that are not solved. And the current mechanism that we have in the world is not very helpful. Um, and people felt helpless. So they sometimes would love to shift their attention and focus from those specific questions to something else, just to fun, to, you know, daily life and, you know, just to get away from those unsolvable, quote unquote, problems. Uh, but as an artist, you have to think about these questions and use them for inspiration.
but that's a painful process, though also a creative process. Tell me more about how you are digesting about these challenges and what gets you going in terms of the energy. The energy I'm getting to do these projects because I work in the nature and with light. We are coming physically because of light. So because of light hit something, there was something going to exist, even plants and animals and water. With this light, with messages with light, you touch the heart of the people. It's not a heavy, dark message tool. It's a light message tool. You understand. Point one. Point two, I digest because I have so I have seen so many beautiful sunsets and sunrise. And every day when I wake up, I'm so grateful that I can stand up myself and start a new day. This is what I believe is to digest, to be grateful. And the energy I'm getting is actually the feedback, like you, from your nation, from China, that they love the tiger. It's proving I'm on the right track of my life. That's my talk with Jerry Hofstetter, Swiss light artist. Look at that huge tiger on the Aner. That's all the time we have for today. If you'd like to know more, search World Insights or check out our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Tian Wei. On behalf of the team, thanks for being with us. Bye for now. Have a great weekend.